Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Authentic Young. You can call me Authy for short. Today we're going to hop into Fallout 4. Yay! I am so excited to start this adventure with you guys. This game has been on my wish list for quite some time now, and it kind of kept just getting pushed to the back burner because of other games. And I started watching the series, and that really resurfaced this to the top. Um, I did do a little research on how long it would take if I followed the just a storyline and I read that it could take anywhere from 25 to 30 hours those that know me know that it might take a little bit longer uh, I will try to stay focused and stay on the storyline but we may veer off here or there uh, yeah so I am so excited to go on this journey with you guys uh, see you in Fallout 4 Fallout 4 are you guys as excited as I am Kind of quiet. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son Aww. he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Ah, the robot. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, I wonder how heavy that is. Like, I wonder if there's like a weight out there on that. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. Hopefully I just shut that off and it hasn't been off this whole time. Peace became a distant memory. It is now said peace and robots. I like that path. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. My infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war. War never changes. Character creation. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna actually move mouse two to look. Okay. Facial hair sculpt. Let's try sculpt. Hmm. Oh, I see. If you hit A, it'll show different faces. <laughs> the little robot back there. Do you see him? Go by. He's so cute. Cool. Let's go. Let's sculpt the hair. Let's do style. It's kind of a cool selection here. The way they did it. Let's go with dapper. Put a little color in your hair. 
So, um, graying looks nice. There, very nice. Uh, let's see, let's go back and then hey, switch. Turn, big guy. It's my turn. <laughs> I kind of like her, that face already. Oh, freckles are cute. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just keep this. Let's see what other hair they have though. Out a little shorter. I feel like those those pigtails need a little a little extra rough night. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Let's go all the way up to the top. Frazzled. I actually like there's another one on here that was kind of cute. Picket fences. No apologies. <laughs> Evening out, or I think I'll just stick with elegant. Best hairdresser, I swear. I'll try to remember to shut that off when I cough. Uh, let's see. Let's try color. I'll go with brown. It all looks good on you. It's very nice. Um, extras. Makeup. Lip gloss. That's uh, nice. Mm. Blush. Oh, I got the little wings going. Whoa, that's kind of cool. That's different. Let's do... Uh, sure, this one's fine. So well, it's fine. Let's go back. I don't know if it's stuck. I feel like I didn't hit accept or something, but that's okay. I was going back and forth whether she should have makeup on anyway. Um. Oh yeah, let's check some of this stuff. We got forehead, eyes. Oop. <laughs> Oops, I'm just messing everything up here. <laughs> Good, that's good. Oh, I think it didn't change. They must have to hit save and I'm not doing that. Oh, I see, accept. Yeah, I like that. Such a great smile. All right, let's go back to these. Color. Amber's nice. What's type? You do know you've got the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Sure. She'll be rested. That's probably good enough. I feel like that's... Well, let me just go back in here. I could spend all day doing this. We're good. Yeah. Alright, let's check this place out. Oh, that's actually a cool idea. He's like standing on a scale right in front of... It's like 
hardwired into the sink. Interesting. Mirror. Hun? I'm hurrying up, don't worry. <laughs> He's like, I need some more time in the mirror, please. We got some soap over there. Oh, let's check this side first. Oh, nice. Pictures, nice books. This is a nice little room. So I wonder, activate the flag. Good old US of A. Can shut that off. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Yeah, I feel like we do too. Let me turn down my mouse a little bit. All right. The speed is good for now. Closet. All right, nice. Radio. Or clock. <laughs> it could be both. All right, you got some storage there. Nice. And there's a baby. Sean. Let's play with Sean. Ah, let's check out the closet. Blast radius. Uh, let's play. Um, when he gets a little older, we'll play that one with him. Very special. Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Oh, it's got a little vault guy there. <laughs> to think, one day he's gonna learn how to drive. Oh, how about the toys? He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Hmm. Glove's a little big now, but Sean will grow into it. Ah! Can't wait to teach him to ride this. <laughs> That's actually cute. Oh, how'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? <laughs> I like how she's. How'd you get on the floor? Ah, whatever. I'll leave it there. Yes, please. I'll take Mr. Handy at home. We got the washer and the dryer. Another fine product of General Atomics International. General Atomics International. I need like an assistant to write all that down. Every little oh, note that we have. Morning, <laughs> It'll be me. Thanks, Codsworth. All right, what do we have here? Oh, oh, Nate's just like pushing me, dude. I'm trying. What's going on? I just wanted to see the magazine here. the barbarian and the jungle of the bat babies. That's He Man. <laughs> he Man in the jungle. Oh, yes, please. Thank you for taking care of the baby. I'm glad we got Codsworth. Yeah, me too. All right, we've got like lots of a uh, drink out of the sink. HVAC not working. Uh, again, get more sugar bombs. Fair, fair. I'm just going to check on the robot. I feel like I should just make sure. Good in here? He's Enjoy your coffee, Mom. Thank you. Oh, there's a phone in there. Oh no, it's temperature. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Oh wait, there's a closet. Oh, and he said there's a salesperson there. Instant mash! They know me. I love mashed potatoes. Creepy. Good morning. Good morning. Calling. Mm, I'm not interested. No offense, but no soliciting. Oh, no worries, ma'am. No worries at all. I'm not selling anything. Sure. Not today. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Urgency? What's 
so important. Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... I don't. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um... <laughs> a precious commodity. Yeah. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Okay. But, uh, I have a family. I have a family. Oh! You can fit us all, right? Of course. Of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't um, want there to be any holes. I mean, it's not bad to have a plan B. <laughs> Total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Why is he so happy home. about that? Uh, tell me more. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. All right. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. Hostile mutants? Our future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. I feel like he has more information than he wants to share. I'm, I'm going to be sarcastic with him. The apocalypse? Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Ooh. All right, so we've got strength. Strength is a measure of your raw physical power. It affects how much you can carry and the damage of all melee attacks. Mm, I mean, that seems good. Perception. Perception is your environmental awareness and sixth sense and affects weapon accuracy and vats. I like that. I'm going to give that to endurance endurance is a measure of your overall physical fitness it affects your total health and the action point drain from sprinting mm, seems pretty interesting i mean they all are important but charisma is your ability to charm and convince others it affects your success and persuade in dialogue and prices when you barter i like that one intelligence is a measure of your overall mental acuity and it affects the numbers of experience points I like that one too. I feel like experience, experience points are probably a good idea. Agility is a measure of your overall finesse and reflexes. It affects the number of action points and vats. Mm. Yeah. Luck. Luck is a measure of your general good fortune and affects your recharge rate of critical hits. That's important too. So now like, I think I'm going to go by, go down and just do one more of everything. And then I liked charisma. What was the, oh, intelligence increases your experience points and perception is good. And then let's just do like, of your overall mental acuity. I feel like I'm gonna need that. Let's do that. Oh, my name happens to be Athi. All right. Wonderful. Except. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. I agree, Nate. Good answer. I have my moments. The baby's crying. Aww. Thanks. I feel like I should have an instinct for that, but you know. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm heading in. Sure, I'll go first. What is it, little baby? What is it, little baby, Sean? My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? He's hey, so cute. That mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? Sure. 
Aw, GG, Nate. That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Oh, it is Halloween, isn't it? I said, like, some stuff about Halloween. Um, yeah, sounds yeah, fun. Sounds like fun. Sir, mom, you should come hmm. and see. Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have what? lost contact with what our affiliate stations. Oh, no. We do, we do have... We do have coming in. That's, um... Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports okay. of nuclear Okay. That was like, luckily we just got into that vault. My God. Um, yeah, let's... We need to get to the vault. Let's go, do, let's go do that vault. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 Oh, those are leaves. Yeah. Um, do you think they got the paperwork done yet? Because it seems like, you know, it just happened. The mailman's coming in with us. That's cool. And if we're not in the program, <laughs> there's the guy with the paper. <gasps> I'm in the program. We need to get in. We're on the list. He just gave you the clipboard. <laughs> Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Yep. Thank you. Good luck, sir. Follow me. Come on. Adult. What's going to happen to all those female, adult male. Everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. All right. Um are we sure that there is a the nuke went off, or are they just putting us down here? Almost there. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. Yeah. I love you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> go, go, just go. Hold on. Go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Did we make it? We did it. You made it. Hey. We're okay. Oh, God Everyone damn please no. step off the elevator and proceed it up was, the It was, Mr. Russell. It was. Sorry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. Vault 111. Future, underground. So we just... Well, <laughs> yes, up the stairs. can't really just say better future. We left a minute later. Well, I mean, better than outside, I suppose. But, like, better than I just had. It's all about context, I guess. Wait, I'd like to be with my husband, please. Mr. Russell. <laughs> Move along. <gasps> Take your time. Yep. Correct. You guys with me? Okay. Welcome. Pick You'll need your seats right before there. we can take you further. Right over there. Please. Here you are. Head down the hall there. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Man, just follow just the doctor. Here. The He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? Excuse this me. This is our new home. Follow me. I, I am. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This am I? This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great. Okay. It's gone. Fair. Fair. Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. Oh, God. How long do you think we'll be down here? It. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few little odd items we have to get. <laughs> okay. Mm, this doesn't look like a vault. Prepared for the future, right? Um. Hey.
Hey. Hey. This way, please. Just step in here. And put your vault suit on. Uh. It'll be okay. Are you sure? Right here. See, honey. Who is my little guy, huh? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Aww. Okay. It's a little chilly in here. I don't I don't know if this is a decontamination room. Sure. It's time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. It's cold. In five. Four. It's too cold. Three. No. I don't like this. Put the gun down. What does that mean? Someone help my husband and give me my baby back. I'm gonna be mad when I get out of this thing. <laughs> Did it like just happen or like when did that happen? Uh, like are they still in here or out of time? Okay, let me just check this area. This one, oh, please, please. Ah, he's frozen. I he took the ring, and I'll get Sean back. I promise. That's so sad. Oh God! Why would Vault Tech do this? What exactly? Why? Can't be the only one left. Yeah. Hello? None of these seem Anyone? to be working. Welcome to Rob Robco Industries. Thank you for choosing Valtech. Cryogenic array. It's offline. Prematurely terminated, resulting in system failure. Isolated manual remote overrides detected. Controls disabled. Okay. Life support. Permanent termination resulting in system failure. Isolated manual remote overrides detected. Controls disabled. Something doesn't seem right here. Occupation. Wait, what happened with these guys? Unknown. Pot door manually override engaged. Pod one. And what about me? Unknown. Remote override engaged. Okay, how about like... Okay, so all of these are unknown? I can tell you because I can't open the gate. Oh, deceased. 
Asphyxiation due to life support failure. Disease cause of death. Okay, so... That's not good. I guess we head out this way. I have a little, a little bit of a cough. <laughs> Inaccessible. There better not be anyone in here. I mean, I want some in here, but they're like that. No, thank you. That's on the other side. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Safety first. Okay, what's this, this room? Yeah, maybe we can sell some cigarettes somewhere. Some, make some cash. Ooh, I'll take that. I feel like I'll need it. Um, bobby pin. You never know when you need one of those. <laughs> Am I right? Extermination is everyone's job. Alright, let's see what this one says. Vault 111 security instructions. Confidential security eyes only. Violation VTP 1011. Vault 111 is designed to test the long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring sign staff activity. What? Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. So, unaware human subjects, it's not cool. Protocol manual, let's see, admittance. Upon activation notice from Vault Tech, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with an admittance of Vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to the designated cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preserve or preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Vault entry must remain sealed under all circumstances. Staff duties, science staff. Members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to overseer discretion. I know what an overseer is because I'm watching the series. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't. Security patrols are to be carried out on the constant eight-hour rotation. Security protocols include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer, enforcement of regulations set forth by Vault Tech. Okay, faculty, service, and maintenance. Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is left to the overseer's discretion. All clear and evacuation. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, Vault Tech will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, Vault Tech personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with Vault Tech, including government and military. Residential are not to be disrupted or evacuated. Vault Tech will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff has been evacuated. This is a lot of information to take in right now. 
Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-residential personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear message from vault Tech, the overseer may elect to or evacuate the staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of contain containment. Under no circumstances may Vault 111 staff evacuate during the shelter period unless receiving the all clear message from a Vault Tech. From Vault Tech. <laughs> all right, security logs. October 23rd, 2077. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I think I was an iceberg. I don't get it. Eggheads tried to explain it to me that keeping the frozen is a big experiment. Keeping them frozen is a big experiment for a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we were smiling at them all all that time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have told them something? Yeah. Yeah. You should have told me something. December twenty fifth, twenty seventy seven. What year was it when I went in? I feel like I should know that. I should have paid more attention to the the um, newspaper. Christmas Underground got together with the rest of... I feel like it was probably right around October because it was around like Halloween. It probably was 2077 because he's just start... This person is just starting to write stuff. So yeah, I I'm going to go with that. Christmas Underground got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. Best gift that I got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. None of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. They hiding something from us? Another company secret only for the higher ups? Whatever. Just a few more months until the all clear is supposed to come through. Then we can start rebuilding. Hmm. Okay, so March 14th, 2078. Only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir crazy. Some people are even saying the all clear signal is never coming. We can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. It's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk beds for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on. I just know it. April 23rd. 2078. The main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning. Oh, I wonder if this is when, did someone break in and take Sean? Now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the science teams watching the door into his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an ax to grind. All right, last entry. No all clear from Vault Tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. Or did the... Did these guys take Sean? I don't think... I don't think they would. Yeah, I saw a bug over there. I'm not taking any chances. Oh, there he is. You little... Okay. Yeah, gross. Giant roaches. What the hell? I'll take the coffee cup. I'll take that coffee cup too. Yeah, the roaches are a little too big. I feel like they're definitely giant. Okay, so this looks like they cleared out. Um, there's nothing left in the lockers. The beds are like all shambled. Like what happened? There's no bodies or anything. Did you guys hear that? Okay. What was that noise? I do not do good with horror games. 
<laughs> this I don't think is one. Um, clean this. Is godliness? Wait, cleanness, cleanliness is godliness. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink. I don't know if I need it, but I feel like I'd be thirsty after all that. Um, I'm gonna take the toaster. Yes, please. Hot plate, sure. You never know. Might have to sell some stuff out there. I don't know what's gonna happen. beer bottle maybe glass is like a huge oh I can pick it up I didn't even know that okay now the trick is <laughs> how do I drop it um. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do this all right R drops it interesting What did I even click for that to happen? I don't even know what I clicked. Okay, there's another terminal. But you guys heard that noise that was that was back there. All right, it says recreational use. Let's check this out. Overseer memo. Remember, the use of recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. There. Top 10. All right, so. It's a game. I shouldn't be playing a game right now, honestly. But, you know, I just, let me just try. Let me just try. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, I feel like I made that. I feel like, let me just try one more time. Maybe two more. Okay, one more time, and then I'll stop. Then I'll stop. I feel like I'm starting to feel where you're supposed to jump. So, you have to jump very soon. Nice. Nope. No, we're gonna leave. Quick game. Yes. Have any of you guys beat that? I wanna know. Okay. That guys. Gotta turn my mouse back down again. I have it on like really fast, but I don't know if that's gonna be good or bad. Um, where's the yeah, this thing. All right, there's a, you can't open this stuff, can you? <gasps> nope. <gasps> Jeez, oh my gosh. <laughs> Where did he come from? <sighs> oh, I got goosebumps from that. And blood all over my face. Oh, what's what this? This happened Where a long it, time man? ago. I'll take the clipboard. So what year is it if that guy... I'm not going to get that meat. I don't even need it that bad. I'm not even hungry. Yeah, now I know you guys can fly. No thank you. Alt? Alt? Wait. What did it say? Left alt? Left alt. Okay. Oh. <gasps> A quick save's fine. <laughs> kind of like made my whole system... Uh, I'll, I don't know, it did something. Took the game away for a second. Yeah, I'll have some water. I don't think it's helping me right now, but it's helping me mentally. Whoa, what happened here? Scrubber filter, scrubber filter. All right, let's just take this room in. We've got some, I like those bobby pins. You never know. You never know when your hair has got to be put up. 
Um, I'm just curious if I... Terminal somewhere. Okay. It's probably right there. But we're gonna check everything else first. Uh, yeah, I'll take that, please. I did it again. I, like... I have to hit R, I think. Yeah. The Coming lock is too difficult are. to unlock. Well, now I really want it. Wait, can I just shoot it? Oh, what is this thing? Pre-war money. Pistol. Alright, cool. I don't even know how I got this up here. If I hold down R? Oh, nice! Okay, if I hold down R, I can see my inventory. Sweet. Can I just shoot this unlock? No. Damn. Won't be able to pick this. I don't know. I feel like I could have shot that open. I'm just saying. All right. What do we have in here? Nice dresser. Oh, I'll take a lab coat. You never know when I need to pretend to be a a vault tech person. Cigarette pack. We'll sell those later. Can I lay down here? I do have a little tiny, let me see. Keep moving. <laughs> My character won't even let me rest. I'm not drinking out of that, that's disgusting. That's not happening. All right, well, I think we have detected everything, looked at everything in here. Let's see what happened here. Is this all that's left? I wonder if this is the scientist and that's like the overseer or could this be the overseer? I'll take these though. What if I hold E? Yes, that's what does it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, I need these glasses on. So if I hit hold down R. Oh, wait, I thought that, that was that just reloads. Hold down E. How did I get the inventory up? Try I. All right, let's see what we have here. Welcome to Rabco Industries. Overseer eyes only. <gasps> oh gosh. Okay, so we've got the overseer instructions. Let's start there. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Over Overseer eyes only. This is gonna be good. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Why do they have to be unaware? I don't know why they have to be unaware. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by vault tech technicians. Under no circumstances is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. Do you think all those people, they just put them inside of the, hmm, like I wonder if people died and they just put them inside of the cryogenics. Welcome. They did have suits on. I might have had a suit on too though. I did. I remember they told me to put a suit on when I was in there, which is impossible by the way. You can't put a suit on in that tiny little, well you probably could, but it'd be hard. Not impossible. It'd be very hard. I digress. Let's go down. Let's keep going. I have long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryolator. <laughs> the cry. Sorry. It reminds me of, oh, I'm not going to remember it. This is, I'm, I, so I usually live stream, so I would just ask, but there is like a, like Krognor, the Dragonator. Or something like that. I don't know. If you guys know, say it in the comments. That's what it reminds me of. The cryolator. Okay. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components. I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for all clear signal. Fair. The cryolator. Oh, that's what I just read. Operations protocol man manual. We got the president. Oh no, this is resident. Resident admission. 
Okay, so this is what we read before. Yep, we read that before. And staff duties and all clear. We read that in the last one. Overseer's log. Now we're getting some good stuff. Preparations. The final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in the sanctuary hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. Vault tech supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. The vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time, I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. The final staff orientation is complete. But a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled. It almost sounds planned. October 23rd. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Norge Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Nordhagen. We'll have to remember that name. Resident admission went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. That was probably us. I was worried there would be more suspicion. But things happened so fast for those people, they must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Oh, I was questioning them. <laughs> Systems malfunctioned. Strange issue today. With pod C3, subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. That was me. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in vault Tech's remote override systems may have sent an erratic signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. So when was that? October 23rd? It doesn't, this one doesn't have a date. Darn it. I wanted to know like how long. There's been no all clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180 day mandatory shelter period. Supplies are never intended to last much longer than that. And despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. Their radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instruction from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep everything under control until the all clear. Okay. Mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel, yeah, we read, he was going, he read about him, have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault, idiots. I will not open the door to be eradicated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, it's fewer mouths to feed. Damn. Okay, so open evacuation tunnel. The personal evacuation tunnel is now open. Remind all staff to be orderly and follow shutdown protocols before exiting and resealing Vault 111. Please maintain all staff records and research report to your local Vault Tech supervisor for debriefing. All right, yep, here we go. Now I've got this sucker. Yeah. Let's see how well it aims. <gasps> uh, how close do I have to be? No! No! <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to switch weapons, but I want to practice shooting. Okay. Jeez. I got us. Okay. I'm going to use all my bullets on this. Look at all the meat I got. I feel like I should have been using the baton. There were so many of them. Let's also, let's turn down the... There we go. That's going to be a little bit easier, I think. Press R to reload the gun. 
What? Because I used all my bullets on them? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I need to go to a practice range or something. Um. Okay. There's a guy over here. Is anyone alive? L alt. Did anyone get out? I tried that last time and it didn't work. Oh, maybe it's just alt. Maybe there's no like. All right. Hmm. What's down here? This is where I just came from. No, I came from that side. I'll take that. And that, and that. What's this? That looks like where I came from. Oh, is it just a loop? Interesting. Because this is where I came from. Huh. Okay, sorry, I gotta, I just gotta check. I just have to go down here and see. Cause I don't remember the, I don't remember these two rooms. No, I, I think, I haven't been in here. I would have taken this. A new jumpsuit. Sure. Sure, I'll take it. What about you guys? Why did they do this? Exactly. Why? Let's see if there's any more information here. Thank you for choosing Valtac. Chronic Array. It's offline. Um. Okay, so we had the support went offline, premature. And Yeah, it's the same here, too. Damn. No, I, I'm not going to check every single one. And there's this one, too. Same thing. Wait, is this right? Hey, this is where I came from. Aww. It is. It is a big circle. Okay. I see. The circle's right there. Oh, God. Not good. Not good. What's in here? <gasps> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. No, we're fine. We're fine. What is this person have? Oh, a pip. Pip boy. Is that what it's called? Watch out, something's gonna smack you in the face. I have my own, yay! All right, 2075 is when this one was made. Oh, I like that it shows the rads over there. Okay, so we're at zero, that's good. Select tab with the mouse. What does it mean, select tab of the mouse? Does it mean pick these? Oh, tab to exit the pit boy. Cool. So inventory, we've got the baton and the pistol. We have two pistols, cool. Um, apparel. I have a new jumpsuit if I want that. And a lab coat, sweet. wear that instead. Does it do anything different? Uh, we'll keep this on. It's the same. Alright. 
Um, aid. Got some stim packs. Good. Bobby pins. What else do we have here? Roach meat. Got enough of those. Bunch of junk. Might be able to sell that somewhere. Ammo. Alright, we got some ammo. We've got one thing to do. Ooh, a map. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Shink, shink, sanctuary hills. <laughs> that was really hard to say. Um, we've got like radio. Tune the radio. What's the perk chart? Whoa, what is this? Um, level one. Strength. Okay, so I've got three. Oh, it's a little interesting. Oh, there's a whole bunch more. Okay. Cool. Go back to my stats. So my gun can hit for 10, which is a very high. And my inventory. Okay. I think I've, I think I've got it. Well, where is my gun? Did I unequip it? Inventory. I did. It says damage 18 up there. Oh, turn it on. I can't have both of them? Okay. Fair. No food or drink. What's down there? Let's just double check. Make sure there's nothing down there. Ew, it's all wet down here. I don't like this. I got my feet wet for no reason. Now that we've checked, we let's check over here. Check all the spots. Okay. <laughs> now, I just wanted to get my feet wet, so now we can go. All right, let's get out of here. It's kind of loud. Do you guys hear that? What is that clicking? That better be. I'm just going to take this out. Those closed. Interesting. Hey, this is where I came in. I do not like that clicking. I feel like those are cockroaches somewhere. Not a fan. <laughs> Let me in the door. Although, I don't know if it's any better up here. Um, no. Those who reserve spots in V11 have no idea what they would be cryogenically frozen. In fact, almost everyone in the vault was actually a secret social experiment. Yeah. Yeah. I read that. Would my eyes even be able to take this? Oh, it doesn't look good out here. Last missing caravan. bring this up. Hey, the rads are low, though. Okay, that's good. Now if we bring up, like, the map here, will it tell us where to go? Okay, so we want to go home. That seems, that seems fair. Tab out of here. 
Wow. Mm, it doesn't look as good as it did when I went down. Ugh. Oh, that'll bring us back down. We're not going to do that. Um, sure. What's in hide here? Did that say mole teeth? I picked that up too fast to read it. <laughs> okay, I gotta check my inventory. What from the maps tab? Select a map marker with a mouse one to fast travel to that location. Mouse one. Mouse one anywhere in the map and add a marker. You can fast travel in here? Yeah, I'll have to figure out how to do that for sure. But let me just go back and see my inventory. Um, where's the miscellaneous junk? Mole rat teeth. It did say that. Why? Why? Would someone have mole rat teeth in there? There's a bird. Who knows if it's going to attack me? I would assume not. It's a bird. Hey. What's over there? Oh my gosh. These were new when um, I was last here. I think I have to go the other way though. Uh, according to the map. Looks like I have to go like that way. If I'm reading the map correctly, which I could possibly be reading it wrong. I'm just going to check out what's inside of here. Yeah, I'll take all this. I feel like I'm going to need... What's that? Oh, yeah. We'll take that. You never know when you need an ashtray. I mean, this place is... Uh, I'll take that. And the cram. <laughs> I mean, this place seems safe, right? I'll just make this book, except for... I'll take the switchblade. Yes, please. Okay. Just go down this way. Oh my gosh. It's so crazy. Literally hours ago, I was standing with these people. going to be like mutants in here. Oh, I can harvest something. Do you guys see that? Where was it? I feel like I need to harvest it. <laughs> it's over here somewhere. Oh, is it them? Nope. Huh. Well, that's okay. I guess I'll figure it out at some point. It'll pop back up again. I, I saw it pop up right around here. Huh. Alright, we're heading across the bridge. Sanctuary. There's so much everywhere. Hey, you're not looking great, but... It is. What happened? Codsworth. What happened to... The world? The world, Mum. Well, besides our geraniums still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills... I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. Where is your better half, by the by? Hmm. They killed him. They... 
They killed him. Oh, Mom, these things you're saying, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to uh... calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? No. They stole him. Have you seen Sean? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Uh, why, uh, why, sir, had him laughed, remember? Perhaps he's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm oh sure gosh. he'll be back with him momentarily. Nothing makes it sense. It doesn't make sense. There's just no reason someone would take my baby. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Mm -hmm. Not eating properly. I don't think so. 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Wow. It will take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> huh. Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. Yes, please. At times, people will withhold information or caps. You can attempt to persuade them into sharing both. All right. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? Okay, so it's I, yellow, so it's easy. I, uh, Mom, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years years trying to keep the floors waxed but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood <laughs> nothing and don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car the car how do you polish rust <laughs> what do you know what do you know codsworth I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mom. <laughs> the bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believe so was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. Okay. And, well, everything happened. Well, that's something. Well... It's something. Let it serve as a reminder, Mum, of happier days. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Is there anything dangerous? Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? Uh, maybe. I don't know, Codsworth. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go inside our house to start. I'll talk to you in a second, Coswell. You, you do you. That doesn't turn on. There better not be a bug in here. Transfer? What does that mean? Oh, I can put things inside. Okay. Okay. Oops, I can store stuff in the dishwasher. I mean the... The washer. Yeah, yeah, nothing looks good. At all. It looks bad. <laughs> Take that, though. Okay, let's take a peek at what he gave us. He said that he gave us a hologram. Weapons. What 
was I looking at? Inventory. Miscellaneous? Oh, what's in the folder? Nothing. Okay. so sad and sweet See if I can find. I could probably go into every house here, couldn't I? Where did he go? Search a neighborhood with cause as well. So he's. It should show it on my map, like this way. Oh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> Did I miss the front door? We'll just, we're gonna go around the back. We want to see the back of the house, really. Check the mailbox. alive and conquered? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Hmm. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the red rocket station? I shall remain here and secure the home. Or you could come with me so I don't have to do this by myself. That's just a thought. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Oh gosh. I'm going to get stuck on some furniture. I can't go around that. Oh no. What is, is that like a bug? I think I might actually be stuck in here. What is that bug? Did you see that bug? Where did it go? A bloat fly gland? <laughs> I'll put that away. I'll take it. What is that? Right. Clean black suit. Maybe I should check all the houses. The TV doesn't turn on. Aww. The plastic pumpkin, because it was Halloween. I'll take the bloaty meat. Um. Yeah, we'll go down here. just 
gonna check a couple of the houses. That one's totally destroyed. Nothing in there. That one looks pretty destroyed as well. I mean, I feel like they're going to need, like, metal and stuff somewhere. <laughs> Just pick up everything. That toilet does not look good. Oh, let's go this way. What is this? The dresser, the teeth, that over there. Sure. All right, I think it might be time to check the map and see where to go next. Maybe Concord? I say that as I look at just five more houses. Oh, that one still has cola. These flies are too big. What's that noise? What is that? It's like a mad cat. Aw, a little pumpkin. Does it get dark in this game? Ooh. Okay, so move the mouse to adjust the bobby pin. Use the mouse to adjust the bobby pin. A to turn the screwdriver. If the spot you've chosen is correct, the lock will rotate and open. If the lock resists, release A and reposition. So use A to turn the screwdriver and the mouse for the bobby pin. Yes. Damn, first try. That was crazy. I'll take all of this. Let me see what I have here. No, I want to wear those. <laughs> nice. Okay, let me put my pit boy up. I want to see if in my inventory there's glasses. Hi, glasses. Nice. Clean blue suit, sure. Okay. Take that. Nothing in there. Wait. This is my house. <laughs> okay. Let's try the next door neighbor. Oh, some yarn. Check my mailbox. Nothing. What do we have over here? Typewriter. Wait, this is a weapons workbench? So I can craft standard. Nice. If I do long. Okay, so it looks like I could do a long barrow. Does it say anything like, oh it does over there. Damage 18. Damage 18. Standard receiver. Standard grip. Oh, can I update this stuff? Short barrel. What would the grip do for me if I chose that? Comfort would value 
accuracy would go up. Sure. Make that. We go back and we do like standard magazine. I kind of already have that. I just need one more adhesive. If I wanted to do that. Interesting. Like, I don't really know. Glow sights. Accuracy goes up by one and value goes up. Hmm. Kind of want some of these other things. Need nuclear material to up it a little bit more. Okay. Cool. We'll exit this. And then we'll check around here to see if I can find anything inside this house. Oil can, sure. Why are there candles everywhere? Obviously there's probably just no electricity. I guess that would be the reason. All right, let me just check. We are gonna head on the map. We wanna go up there. No, we wanna go down there. What, is that a custom destination? I might've clicked that by mistake. So we wanna go here. Do we head this way? I'm going to spend all the time looking inside the houses. We need this stuff, though. What is that noise? <gasps> Jesus! Okay. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm going to die from a cockroach. Uh, no, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I get, like, too comfortable or something. over here somewhere. Nice. Nice. Ooh, a dress. And another bobby pin. We could use that. Is there another bug back there? I see something moving. Yeah, I'll take that and then I'm gonna have to give myself a stim pack at some point. No. <laughs> I should be making bullets, honestly. I don't know what I could... What am I going to use with a kickball? A deflated kickball. Aww. What is this over here? A chemistry station. Grenade. Healing. Nice. Okay, so I could do a lot of stuff here. Yeah, I want to exit. There's a lot to learn. Let's go inside the house over here. one has a terminal. Does it work? Password required. That's a lot of information. Ball, crew, hacking. Select a potential password with mouse one. 
If your chosen password is incorrect, the number of letters that match the terminal's password, both letter and position will be displayed on screen. Okay, wait, let's read this again. Select a password with mouse one. If your chosen password is incorrect, the numbers of letters, the numbers, the number of letters that match the terminal's password, both letter and position will be displayed on the screen. So I go up here. Oh, I guess I don't really follow what it's doing. Oh, if I pick one of these, likeness zero. Likeness zero. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Roku Industries. Sanctuary Hills. Totally high strung and needs to relax. I keep telling him that, offering to help, but so far no dice. By the looks of the guy, he's self-medicating with pie. One of our neighbors was so rude. Baker, my favorite tin foil hat wearing nut job. Good for seven amples of day tripper a week. Guess he's a one a day kind of guy. Whatever helps the man groove. He wants something called Psycho. I'm not sure the stuff even exists. And if it does, do I really want this Neanderthal using it? Guess it depends on how much he's willing to spend. I'll put some feelers out to my army connection, see where that goes. Damn, what about Rose? I skipped her. Still trying to get her some buff out. Didn't expect the rationing to affect this, but it is what it is. The rationing. I wonder what this is from. They still owe me for what that last XL delivery occurred to me. Was it even for them? Because so help me God, if I find out they're juicing up those dogs, we're going to have some words about more than more money. But we're probably beyond words anyway. I know they have a floor safe in there. I've seen it. Master bedroom under the dresser. Can't be that tough to track. Who, who is this? That was Russell. Okay, we might have to check, see if we can find like Russell's house, I guess. Did I or did I say I was going to be in the main story? <laughs> this is probably a side story already. Still good for a couple of hits of daddy -o a week. Pretentious pseudo installer asshole, but money's good. Wants med -X as much as I can get. Hasn't told me why. Not really my business. Guessing there's some sort of long-term pain management going on. Or disease. Anders. Kids are usually a no-go. But this girl's got style. And she's not interested in getting tweaked. Ordered 20 blood packs. Some Halloween stunt or something. Or hell, maybe she's really a vampire. What do I care? She's got her daddy's money. And then Boston... Isaac, some student at CIT wants day tripper. XL, an entire palette, yes, palette of mentats. Not sure if he's doing crazy experiments dealing to other eggheads or if it's the verge or a nervous breakdown. Don't care. So as long as the money's good. Damn, well, who is who is this neighbor? We're in business of happiness. Young married couple, good for a couple of day tripper per weekend. Easy order, cool people, no brainer. Okay. Top, longtime Buffett customer, running into supply problems. We've had a good thing for years. I'd hate to end it now, and I don't exactly want to risk him getting all noble and law abiding. If he can't get what he wants, that would be oh, that would end very badly for me. Straight up drug dealer here. The old lady has upped her daddio order. Weird but profitable. Okay, miscellaneous. Malcolm. Potential new company in Charlestown. Wants Medex. Seems oddly desperate. Might be a cop trying too hard. Need to move slowly. Underwear model from Braintree. Beautiful, intelligent, totally weird. All she's ever wanted is stim packs, 10 plus per week. My imagination go continues to run wildly. Okay. All right, let's head out of here. And what I do want to see is, does it tell us who's mailboxes these are like 
Yeah, that says like Cawthorn. I want to see if we can find Russell. We did find the safe, so maybe that was mailbox. Yeah, I guess they all don't say like a name on them. All right, let's pop up the pip and see where the main, if we have to go here. I think we're heading in the right direction. <laughs> Actually, we gotta go. I don't know how to follow this map exactly. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we wanna go this way. There's so many houses to check though. What is this? I'll take that. I'll take my gun out too. Well, I guess I'll put it away. What is that? Is that a dog? No, thank you. What happened to the puppies? Okay, there's the, the rocket place. <laughs> see if I can get this thing to start. <laughs> we can drive. <gasps> There's a normal doggy. Yeah, I want to greet the dog. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Oh, he's so cute. Are you okay? Where's your you owner? your owner, buddy? Aww. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Yes, I have a doggy. Face your dog and use E hey. to command him. Talk. How you doing, buddy? Tricks? Hey, boy. You know any tricks? Press tab to stop commands. Let me see one trick. Let me oh. see it. Okay. That's a decent trick. Let's see what they have here. Oh, it feels kind of safe. Except for the huge open doors right here. <laughs> so, okay. I take that back. Not super safe. That's a, that's a workshop bench. Workshop allows you to build, adjust, and remove nearby objects and structures. Move between the options to find the object or structure you wish to build. If your selected object appears green, press enter to build it. If it appears red, try adjusting its location. Oh. Nice. How do you tab through these? There we go. Decorations. Crafting a raider helmet. Um, what is that? <gasps> oh my gosh. Jeez. <laughs> Stop hurting the dog. Jeez. Okay. I'm just trying to look at the, the bench here. That's why there is multi. No. No. Oh my goodness. Okay, rude. <laughs> Why are there so many? Jeez. Where did they come from? And I should have kept the door shut. Oh, someone was cooking some out here too. The cooking station. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff I can cook. This is good to know. What do I need? Actually, cancel. If I want to roast some fly, make some soup. Looks like the only thing I can make is bloat fly. I don't think I'm hungry right now though. Let me check my pip and see if it tells me my stats. Oh, I'm level two. 
Yeah, I think I'm okay right now. I... Oh, I can level up. There's a tea down there. Okay, so what should we level up? Perception's good. Endurance is good. Oh, gosh. I think getting good prices is really good, though. I do like getting... Yeah. I don't know. Sure. Confirm. We'll do that one. What is this? It looks like another station. Chemistry station. Okay, this is another one. I like this place. It has like a bunch, like a whole bunch of stations here. Alright, let's exit. So I'll take some Coca-Cola. Alright, which way do we have to go? Let's see if it shows us in the map. This way. <gasps> no, thank you. Ew. <laughs> this is doing nothing! some stuff for it. I don't want to fight that thing. It looks like we have to kind of go that way. What's in here? Do it, Poppy. I like this little little house. Watch, there's gonna be bugs up here. What's over here? Yeah, I need all of this, I feel like. We've made it to Concord. Go in there. This one looks boarded up. What are we doing here, though? Looks like it's seen better days. Hey, birds! What's that noise? Why are there so many strange noises? I hear fighting. Sure, I'll take all of those. Do you hear it out there? Don't think I can pick this. Yeah, expert? Yeah, it's probably not. Celebration history. Oh, there's people over there. I don't know if they're friendly or not. What's this? I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Yeah, I like that. I'll take the fan. <laughs> you never knew I needed a fan. Oh, I like this set. I feel like we can sell all the junk and get some caps maybe at some point. I don't know if I want to participate in whatever's going on out there. Whoa. Oh wait, we'll grab this. Alright, puppy. I don't know if this is our friend or enemy. Mm. <gasps> no, no. Damn. I don't want to shoot the puppy. Am I shooting you? Okay. I think the guy up there got you. I'll take those. I'm gonna do with that guy's eyes. 
Hey, don't cheat at me. I'm a friend. I think. <laughs> I think I'm a friend. Hmm. I guess I'm not a friend. Wait, did he just yell at me? Who are you shooting at? Are you shooting at me? Locks really strong. No more British occupation. Whoa. What is this? <gasps> are these guys? Oh my gosh! I thought that guy was alive. I feel like I'm in a fun house right now. <gasps> what is this place? Where's your friend? I'll take all of your clothes. Because that's what I do. <laughs> okay. There he is. He has no idea. He has a much better weapon than me. Oh, he had a pip. Is he the bad guy or the good guy? I don't even know. Who's still shooting? Okay. Oh, hey puppy, how do I get up there? Bag what did that say? Say bag of meat? one of these. I don't know what a rat axe is, but I feel like I need it. I gotta figure out how to get up the stairs. Maybe over here? No? Oh, oh, what was that? No! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your friend didn't make it. Who are you even shooting at? Oh! <laughs> yeah, I will go straight on. I have stim packs. Alright, I'm gonna take your friend's clothes too. Jeez. What's right here? Maybe I'll reload my weapon. What do I have for, like, do I have a better weapon yet? Inventory. How about, like, weapons? Oh, I got some stuff to throw. What's this? Oh, it's only 13. This one's 18 still. Wait, does that say 45? I don't know how many rounds I have, though. It says O2 and then 1700. I don't know what those words mean. I'm coming in there and I'm gonna skin every last one of you. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit. <gasps> Jeez. Okay, that's strong. Whoa, whoa. Come on, your side. Oh. Sorry. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. <gasps> Sorry about that. I'm just gonna take everyone's clothes while I'm. You guys just chat for a second. I actually run a thrift shop, um, down in town. I'll put this away. Wow. Well, that was a lot. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna sit on the couch. And we're gonna pick yeah, this up. This we're gonna something. wait. Just for a second. <laughs> because, so, that was a lot. I think we're gonna pick up in part two tomorrow. Um, so, what I learned today was, well, one, I'm kind of like all over the place because I started my day off as like, like a normal day. And, um... 
Yeah. And then I like some guy was just like, hey, why don't you come on to the vault? Which I thought was a little weird. And then like immediately the nuke went off. Then I wasn't even sure if like we should go inside of those containers because they looked really weird. Uh, We go inside. My husband was killed. My baby was stolen. I don't know what year all that took place. Like, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I was in cryogenics for 200 years. I don't know if the baby was stolen, like, right into the cryogenics. Like, the baby wouldn't be alive if he was over 200 years old. Like, he could have been taken right when we were frozen, or he could have been taken two days ago, so he could still be a baby. So I just don't know, like, how old Sean is, where Sean is, who took him, where I am, (laughs) what's going on. I'm in Concord. I'm pretty sure I'm in Concord. And I've met these people, so I'm very happy about that. Um, And that's where we're going to pick up tomorrow. Thank you for joining for for part one. Uh, This was a lot of fun. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.